life is awesome. Okay, so that was kind of an eventful walk around the neighborhood there uh, and also through some desert area. Um, I picked up some discarded beer cans because uh, I figured, I mean, if I didn't, I mean, there's a good chance that nobody else would have. And then I did walk a little further into the more vacant area of my neighborhood uh, but then I came upon a uh, mutilated cat corpse, and uh, so I decided that I stopped recording after that. I mean, I'll just leave that part out. I mean, yeah, it was uh, pretty graphic. I mean, very graphic, I think. So, I mean, poor cat, I don't know exactly what happened to it, but yeah, it's... Still sucks, but <clears throat> so uh, anyway, uh, don't know how to transition smoothly after that. But so the following are some books that I recently purchased, and also I think there's a couple that I purchased uh, more than a couple weeks ago, but I just never bothered to include them in any haul video. So <clears throat> first is uh, Native Son by Richard Wright and I had heard a lot of good stuff about this novel uh, I've read um, one of Richard Wright's other novels which was titled uh, titled uh, Black Boy I believe yeah and I, I really liked that so <clears throat> I got this at my local used bookstore and then the next one I got it's kind of an old one, I guess. Uh, old Mortality, Sir Walter Scott. Uh, yeah, and I, I didn't know much about it. I just, because I had flipped, but I flipped through it. And it just seemed kind of interesting. And not like that, I mean, the language it's written in is, you know, a kind of English that pretty much nobody uses anymore. I mean, I think, at least not here in the States. I, and then, uh, next one I got is, uh, The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. Of course, I'm sure a lot of you fellow booktubers are familiar with this book. I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with it, even if they haven't really read it. But I've been wanting to read it for quite some time, so picked up my own copy. Used, of course, but I mean, it was only 50 cents, so... It's still in read very readable condition. So. And next one I got is uh, Ben Hur by Lou Wallace. So I had recently seen the most recent version of the movie Ben Hur, and it was okay. I, I didn't like it that much, but I mean, I'll say I definitely prefer the original that stars Charlton Heston. So and. Of course, when I found out that it was also a novel, I had to get my own copy of it. So. And the next one I got is Lullaby by Chuck Palahniuk, or Palahniuk, <laughs> and it's the uh, same author that wrote Fight Club. Uh, of course, I really like Fight Club. So decided to give this a try. I don't really know that much about it. Something about parents who sing a particular lullaby to their kids. It uh, causes some kind of harm to their kids or something like that. I don't know. That seemed to be a gist of it. And the next one I got is a copy of The Three Musketeers by Alex Alexander Dumas. Uh, of course... I have have to own a uh, hard copy version of this, but I wanted a paperback version uh, because I don't I don't really I don't want to risk damaging my hardback version. So and last one 
13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Uh, I've seen a couple of booktubers uh, talk about this book and review it. Um, so I, I flipped through it and it seemed mild, mildly interesting to me. So and it was only a dollar. I mean, this copy, it's a used copy. Seemed interesting enough to me, so I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so that'll do it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, keep it real. Keep on rocking. And peace.